Today I'm working on cleaning up the front part of the bus. I'm going to use some of this particle board in here. This stuff, it's actually not that bad. I mean, we'll see what happens in the long term, but what I like about it is you can use dry erase markers on it. You know, you can write on them. So, and it's what I have to use. I don't have to go to the store and buy any more wood. Everything's insulated over here pretty good so what I'm gonna do is build a metal shelf for the inside of this I'll probably close this off and for now yeah we'll see but I may just close that off too I know I can always make a shelf later but this will be a nice little shelf to put some stuff in here yeah, and I, I can write stuff on it if I want to. I'll put some wood up here that you know, will frame that in all around. And I'll put a metal shelf painted black on the inside of this. So what I'm working on now is the metal shelf. And I'm using, of course, old best metal. I just made a measurement and made my mark on a long cut I'm gonna cut that line I'm gonna bend it an inch and then paint it and see what happens I also use this table as a great place to paint the screws most of the screws are silver or rusty so I'm just painting them make sure they kind of blend in all right I got the bus metal lined up I got it clamped on both sides I'm just gonna take this big hammer and Boy, if I had the right tools, this would take like two minutes. But if I don't, this is going to take like 30 minutes. That's all right. It's nice. I'm out here in a t shirt. I mean, I am working pretty hard, but the weather's being pretty nice. It's easy to get work done when the weather's nice. When the weather is super cold and snowy, it's hard to get motivated. But even with like the warm weather, we still got tons of snow, just kind of, or ice or whatever you want to call it, like icebergs. Still lingering around. So it must not be that warm. I just must be working hard. this out I helped my dad out the other day trimmed like five trees down I haven't trimmed trees since I was probably in my 20s look at all this work I did Are you kidding me all this firewood these are these have been here for ages I really need to trim that one down that's like a widow maker right there need to get that one down and then there's one more big log over there I gotta trim up this this stuff is crazy out here man look at all these logs I trimmed up these were already pushed down by the bulldozer, but the 
goal was to try to get them in the sections where they can become firewood. And that's the big log I got to deal with like tomorrow or the next day. I'll probably trim up these a little more and get them off of there. And then I'll use some of these other logs to put under there so it doesn't uh, it fall too hard. It's already down, it's not a big deal, and it's rotten already. But at the same time, you know, I want to be careful. Ah, yeah, and then so the stumps are going to get basically get a tractor and pull them once they get the firewood what they can out of here they're gonna take the stumps and pull them down there into the ravine it's not really a ravine it's just the the hill it's just like kind of on a hill here and it gets deep over there and I definitely worked my ass off on that big log is gonna be fun I think when I cut it I'm gonna to try to make sure I'm on this side of the log and not the downhill side of the log if that makes any sense I may prop it up right here get a good cut there make sure there's plenty of space and then I'll go cut another big section off the stump so they can pull it what I'm gonna do this way the weight of the log rolls downhill and not on my legs and crush me and stuff I don't know, it makes sense to me but if you guys would have seen this before I chopped all this up these trees were huge and you had to like kind of dissect them in a way and you had to be very careful at the time I was doing it there was a foot of snow, which might have helped a little bit, honestly, uh, because you're probably walking on some cushion instead of all these branches. It was kind of icy, like a foot of ice right up in here, but there was a top layer of snow, which gave me some traction. Crazy. So I got the shelf installed, it's not totally perfect, but what is perfect? You guys are probably the only ones that ever see this. Once I get my trim put up here, that'll cover that. I'll be able to have a little shelf here, put whatever I want in there. My next project is going to be trying to figure out a piece of wood that just covers this mess right there. I don't think I'm going to worry about making that a shelf. We'll see what happens. My house is a mess. My bus is a mess. Turn this thing into a construction zone again. Got everything back in its place. It's just a little blacker. Mom says I need to paint this black and just be done with it, which I might do. Makes sense to me. And then you have a whiteboard here. You can write some stuff up here if you want to. And then I'll put a cover here for now. And then this front part will be done. I'm going to cut some tongue and groove to fit in little slots right here. And that'll cover that. Yeah, it's a mess though. It's so difficult to get things done and be clean. I'm going to make some chopsticks though. I found this uh, 
piece of really nice oak and this is really nice oak as well and I'm gonna make some chopsticks if you guys want some custom chopsticks made let me know so I went ahead and painted that black the next one over here will be black matching and then I got my wood little scrap pieces of wood I got them stained and once that dries a little bit I'll put the poly on it and those little pieces of wood will go up here they'll slide in right here and keep this together and that'll be my shelf and this part will be done and covered and what's left is building a glove box right here and maybe some shelves down in there so you can see how it's going this one cracked a little bit hope it lasts a while I'm just gonna continue on over and hopefully it'll look halfway decent functional is the word yeah, I just take these things and get my saw. Kind of rigged up to make that cut. I make the cut. Well, first of all, I line them all up. Once I go to the chop saw, chop it, and then put it down and make a little cut and then I take the sander and trim it up just a little bit and it, it's turning out all right got this installed so you know things aren't things aren't totally perfect everywhere around here but a lot of the little imperfections get covered up. Made a decent cut here. I could have made that cut a little better, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm ready to get on the road. Next thing you learn, get on down the road.
Sing your way 